They come running just as fast as they can Cause everybody's crazy about a shop dressed man The Masked Singer's Hydra has been slain And you won't believe which iconic duo is hiding beneath that massive mask Well, that is unless your guest host Nicole Byer In which case you will Way to go, Nicole Let's talk that huge reveal on Season 7, Episode 5 of The Masked Singer. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Now, if you remember last week, I was all in on Hydra being the three amigos themselves. Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Chevy Chase. But this week, as Hydra got down to Sharp Dressed Man, I was like, huh, I think there's only two people in there. And then their mega clue was a deck of cards entirely made up of jokers. While our tenured judges guessed Will Arnett, Zach Galifianakis, Will Ferrell, John C. Riley, it ended up being guest judge Nicole Byer who nailed it with her guess of magician duo Penn and Teller. Oh, I get it. The ATM is an automated teller machine. Miami, they both made appearances on Miami Vice. The Shark, they were in Sharknado 3, a classic film. Okay, what about the voices though? I was convinced there were three people in there for a while. Well, it turns out it was Teller who did most of the singing because he doesn't talk in their act, so he was able to do his own natural voice and a kind of fancy voice the duo patterned after Rex Harrison and My Fair Lady. These magicians so sneaky and so cultured. But what about our other celebrity singers? I was thinking Olivia Rodrigo was ringmaster during her performance of Super Bass, but then her mega clue was a guitar with a pick that said 90s. She said she's a 90s chick. I looked it up. Olivia Rodrigo was born in 2003. Ugh, I can just feel my bones like dissolving into dust. Ken thought it could be Taylor Swift, which no Ken. And Zara Larson's name was also thrown out there, but now I'm just not sure. Armadillo was up next singing I Fought the Law, and I could not help but laugh when he fell trying to do a high kick. He was fine. I'm allowed to laugh. His mega clue was a dead motorcycle with some fancy keys, and while the judges guessed Gary Busey, Jay Leno, and William H. Macy, I'm all in on Dog the Bounty Hunter. My argument, those sunglasses, peak dog. Also, he was in a motorcycle gang, and as the internet so helpfully pointed out, his little saying about being born on a mountain raised in a cave, that's something dog says. And I don't know about you, I've never heard that before, that's very specific. Okay, Miss Teddy I'm less sure about. She sang Tell Me You Love Me, and obviously this woman is a trained singer because, wow. Plus, her mega clue was a congratulations from the Grammys. Miss Teddy said winning one was one of the greatest moments of her career. Quote, you know, as me, once I was afraid, I was petrified. Sometimes you have to go through life without anyone by your side, but you learn how to get along and you learn how to survive. Is it Gloria Gaynor? Is that too easy? Or maybe it's Jennifer Hudson or Cece Winans? Ugh, we'll have to keep watching because I have a feeling she is making it all the way to the finals. I don't know, am I totally off base with these guesses? Let me know in the comments and like and subscribe while you're there. Then head over to popculture.com for more of the latest entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call. <laughs>